Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Stefan and EJ each order a drink at the bar. Stefan questions why he was invited. EJ informs him that when Megan tried to kill him, he made an effort to stop her. Lai hangs up on the person to whom he is sending money. When Gabby knocks on his door, he is startled. Kristen gets scolded by Belle for stealing Rachel. Kristen responds. Before Brady could shoot her, she emerged out of nowhere, so Brady quickly seized her. Brady, who is confused, hears Rachel adamantly yell that she called the police when he stopped at the gas station. He queries why. She charges him with trying to murder the mother. Jada is in disbelief. The new addition makes Gwen happy and she wonders what her fiancé is up to. The cat's fiancé is currently physically violent with Leo. She asks Love to call her about tonight in her SMS. She is eager to marry him. Out of breath are Leo and Dimitri. Leo offers to demonstrate additional fresh movements. Randy Dimitri hears Gwen's phone ring. Leo scolds. He detests lying to his best friend. In an effort to divert him, Dimitri, Leo fantasizes of using a third party to obtain his fortune. There simply isn't enough time, alas. They kiss once more. EJ tells a shocked Stephen that he attempted to thwart Megan's intention to murder him. Stephen is perplexed as to why he is telling him. Shirtless Lay regrets what transpired to Gabby. She makes a promise to one day kill Odd Rolf with his ponytail. He criticizes her for visiting him by herself. She has already promised Stefan to quit taking such chances, but she warns that today is different. She confronts Lai with a gun. Belle doesn't believe Kristen when she claims that Brady threatened Belle with John's gun. Kristen insists he lost his cool. Belle accuses her and thinks that she is lying once again. She declines to assist her and departs. Brady disputes that he touched Mommy with a gun, but Rachel shouts that she witnessed him do so. Jada requests a justification. Brady acknowledges that despite not having a gun, he may have indicated he could kill Kristen. The drawer, according to Rachel. Jada obtains the rifle and has Brady enter the code. She then advises Brady to find a babysitter since they need to speak at the station. Fashionista Gabby is enraged. Lai begins to fear. She is upset with Melinda for letting him go because she is certain that he was working with Megan. The honest is on us here. Stefan laughs after E.G. mentions a family connection. E.J. claims Stefano always gave him advice about maintaining family ties and implies that Stefan is a lot like him. Time to present a unified front. Megan is absent, according to Stefan, but E.J. foretells her eventual return, and there is still a fox in the Demira henhouse. Leo sneaks out the front door as Dimitri who is dressed to the nines, kisses him. Greeting Kristen in the living room, Dimitri informs her that she witnessed him smuggling someone out of the building. She stares him like a cat and leers. Was it his girlfriend or boyfriend? Brady tells Jada he tore out the custody agreement when they get to the station. When Belle comes, she instructs him to keep quiet. Brady would prefer not to embellish what he accomplished. Dimitri disputes that. He is informed by Kristen that Rachel saw him having sex with Leo Stark. She has calculated Leo's actions and is aware that he turned around and found the damaging inheritance papers before being captivated by Dimitri. Although he doesn't dispute it, Dimitri says it was insulting. He begs Kristen to keep it a secret, and she agrees, but she now wants a share of the money. Gwen is puzzled as to where Leo was when he arrived too late for the meeting. He stumbles over his article about cuddling. That seems boring. And Gwen feels he was avoiding her because of Dimitri. He thinks he has been working too hard and disputes it. Gwen worries that she made a mistake because Dimitri didn't call today. Leo says out loud that he was with him. Each cautions Stefan that Dimitri might still be carrying out Megan's orders and advises them to cooperate. Their hands are shook. E.J. now advises that they devise a strategy for eliminating the fox. Stefan has a thought already. Gaby has gone crazy. 
She is reminded of their happy days by Lai. She declares that Stefan is her life's passion and that she would do anything to keep him secure. He promises not to worry Stefan and has come to terms with her being with him. Wendy cautioned him against wasting his life. He offered she view his matchmaking profile on his laptop since he has had enough of brooding on the past. Gabby feels bad for his new girlfriend. He assures her that he is no longer a danger to her or Stefan. Dimitri chuckles, but Kristen warns that if she doesn't get her fair portion, she'll tell her ex-friend Gwen the truth. She wants resources like power and wealth to help her acquire Rachel. A number is what Dimitri wants. She reminds him of Megan's antics and demands her part. Before he can respond to her offer of a deal, Stefan and E.G. show there. He then bites a nail, unceremoniously attempting to eject him from the estate. E.J. Leo acknowledges that he went to the estate to gather information on Dimitri, who caught him in the act. Things became quite rough and physical. Gwen is anxious. Leo comes to the conclusion that he is giving his approval since Dimitri persuaded him to want to marry her. According to Bell, Brady wasn't trying to sound intimidating. He admits to the detective that he was concerned about losing his daughter. Jada may have been willing to let things go, but Trask storms in and refuses. Le, the enraged Terminator, wanted her fiancé dead. He states that following his broken heart, he was not himself. He rambles that he is moving on and that he has a date tonight. Although she lets him leave, Gabby makes a late pumping threat if he ever disturbs her again. Lai is relieved. To book Brady and obtain a statement from Kristen, Trask instructs Jada. She must now wear her blue dress to a supper. Kristen is inquisitive. Stefan claims that E.J. and he are fighting the same foe. Megan's actions were not known to Dimitri. E.G. still wants him gone. Peter says he would always vote with Kristen because she had her shares. Dimitri also owns shares of Demira. Threatening to visit Lead as well, Kristen. Stefan is curious about her game. Kristen wants them to remain as a single, happy Demira family. Hearing that Maddie approves of her makes Gwen pleased. He acknowledges observing another aspect of Dimitri. That was last night, but Gwen just now learns that he was with Dimitri today. Leo tells a story about how they were going to surprise her during the wedding. But it's a secret, so don't let Dimitri know. Gwen is moved and exclaims how delighted she is that her best friend and the bride-to-be are getting along. Dimitri can stay for the time being, Stefan agrees. They will regret that, says an incensed EJ before storming out. Kristen exclaims her happiness that Dimitri can reimburse her. Stefan welcomes Gabby and leads her upstairs to talk about what happened and where she was. Lai waits impatiently for his date at the bar. She is dressed in blue. Trask walks in wearing a blue dress. Jada visits the residence to inquire about Brady from Kristen. He allegedly threatened her with a loaded gun, according to Rachel. Brady thanks Belle for bringing him home. She forewarns Trask that if she gets her way, he will be put behind bars, and if Kristen pursues charges, that may happen. Rachel, being sneaky, hears. Her cunning eyes twirl around. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.